Fifteen year old Peter Ochiang loves to gamble. First, I put the money inside. I choose any team here. Me and take Norwich and press start. Manu, it shows that I've lost. So I put another one. It's illegal for anyone under 18 to gamble in Kenya, but kids have easy access to these machines in neighborhood convenience stores. And the games seem designed to appeal to them. How often do you play on these machines? Twice a day. How much do you spend when you come here? How much do you usually win? Once I've won something like 1,000, but rare. Kenya is now the third biggest betting market in Africa. In major cities, people use smartphones to try their luck. But in the countryside, slot machines are more common. Yes, <laughs> And school administrators say some students are using their lunch money to gamble, and their work is suffering. Who is an expert in this class? The one who play with him said that he always plays. He always plays? Yes. So does your father play? No. Has he stopped you from playing? Yes, he stopped. He stopped you. Why? And you were making good money. I'm not eating. I'm being given money for lunch. I'm going to play. It's like a cancer that is really eating up our society. Especially the youth. When they wake up in the morning, they start betting. So the only thing they think of is how they can make quick money through betting. Do you think that children are becoming addicted to it? Of course they are. Half of Kenya's kids are born into poverty and 58% drop out before their final high school exams. Do you think that Kenya has a gambling problem? Yes, Kenya has a gambling problem and the government is taking action to deal with it. What's the problem? Yeah, the problem is we've had a proliferation of uh, illegal gambling machines coming mainly from China. Those Chinese companies take 80% of the profit from slots, pulling money out of Kenya and giving the government another reason to crack down. Ah. The Ministry of Interior banned importing slot machines from China last month, and it's going around the country staging bonfires to send a message. The government has been trying to fight this problem for years. But local governments don't always follow along. There seems to be a disconnect between national law forbidding these machines, deeming them illegal, and counties that are giving out licenses for people to actually have machines legally in their shops. That confusion that is there is what has actually enabled an environment now for merchants uh, for merchants and even criminals to take advantage. I mean, it becomes very difficult to manage that. And that is where now the county government are the ones who are letting us down by licensing those kind of things in those places. National law enforcement officers are charged with seizing slot machines. It says slot machines and games. Machines and games, yeah. So if you confiscate the machines and give them to the yeah. county government, yeah. can't he say that I've got a license? Uh, they, they can say, they can say, but we don't lay, we don't want them. National, we don't want them, but the county needs them because they are getting money from it. From the licenses? Yeah. Uh, That's one of the reasons these raids are hardly effective. How many of these raids have you done before? One. one. I did only one. What happened? Uh, we sent to the OCS, to the police station. I don't know what happened. But I, I saw them back. The machines were back? Yes. The next day? Yeah, not the next day, in the evening. In the evening? Yeah. The same day you raided? Immediately, yeah. Okay. 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 These ones are hard to, hard to take out. Where's the operator? The, they have run away. They ran away? Yes. They saw you coming? Yes. The Crenzias team managed to get the machines out of the shop, but then they dropped them off to the district county commissioner's office, the very same office that issued the licenses.
tell me where are the machines? What do you propose the solution can be? I propose that if people must gamble, then let it be left for the adults. They can have those machines in the pubs, and at least the children should be stopped from accessing these machines. There has to be some rules and regulations that govern it. Something really needs to be done, and pretty fast.